What's going on, fellow Geeklings? It's I, Alex, King of Geeklings, your pawn shop, Henry Cavill. Um, so, um, let's look at some comic books today. This isn't the sponsored video. Um, camera's doing a shaking thing again. Um, I don't know why. Um, so, yeah. This channel does contain mild to moderate fucking swear words. There will be some scenes of comic book gore, maybe some monsters, but there'll be no, shouldn't be any signs of sex, sexual violence, sex and violence, or, well, there might be decapitations, the comic book variety, and there may be some comic book nudity. So, as per the thumbnail, which should be the reason why you've clicked on this, this is not a video about D&B today. You'd be glad to know. Um, Nemesis, the Warlock, 2000 AD. The 2000 AD comic book strip. One of my favourites when I was a kid. And volumes one and two got from The Travelling Man in Newcastle. I've had them for a while actually. Um, I didn't include them in the comic book videos because these deserve their own attention. Um, if you've ever read 2000 AD comics from the 90s, 80s, and 90s, you all know who Nemesis the Warlock is. Obviously, he's a Warlock. And his name is Nemesis, obviously. Um, his, he was cursed to look the way he does. And um, basically, he kicks ass, creates illusions, and uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. It's uh, unusual, unusually unusual looking. But, um, yeah, it's also one of the reasons why Warlocks are one of my favourite classes in D&D. Less said about that, the better in a minute. Um, so, there's his little runabout. Nemesis is this guy here. And a full detailed picture of him here. For those of you who don't know, 2000 AD, obviously British comics, also known as the birthplace of Judge Dredd and the psychopath Dexter. <clears throat> so if you know Judge Dredd, you know 2000 AD comics. And yes, absolutely, you know the type of artwork. The artwork written by Pat Mills, artwork by Kevin O'Neill, Jesus Redondo, and Brian Talbot. So I think it was a mixture of, it was an English and um, American team on 2000 AD. And they're reasonably popular in this country. Um, I mean, introduction Nemesis was created as a response to the censorship on another story Kevin O'Neill and I produced. We had dreamed up a science fiction tube system in Robusters, which the ma managing editor objected to as too weird and complicated. So basically it was in a response to being told, you can't do that, it's too weird. I mean, this is the type of old school comic book art we're talking about. This, the beauty of um, the Terror 2 being the original comic book strip here. 
And yes, you have, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can appreciate this. Um, it's hard to keep holding the book up, so let's get on with this. So yeah, beautifully presented. I mean, absolutely stunning artwork. Cheap as possible paper. Nemesis makes no attempt at stopping the humans. He is uh, very, very pissed off. But, um, yes. If you get the gist of this, um, Termite, a world at the heart of the cruel galactic empire, a world devastated by nuclear warfare, deep below ground, if inhabitants try to eke out a mere existence continually threatened by the Terminators, led by the diabolically evil Torcomander. Torcomander. This guy. And their nemesis. Torcomander, a twisted human despot in intent on purging all alien life from the galaxy and punishing the deviants. His motto, be pure, be vigilant, behave. Oh, behave. Um, there is a resistance through, though a new kind of hero, meet Nemesis the Warlock, champion of the coming rebellion. This vast and arcane tome contains... The first four books of the Nemesis Saga and features an introduction by Pat Mills and afterward artist Kevin O'Neill. So the original um, Kevin O'Neill and Pat Mills creation was, I don't know if I already said this, but should this too, was the Terror Tube. So you've got the Tor Kamada here. Of the Terminators. This was for formulated before the Terminator. But that's kind of like the kind of. You get the kind of vibe that this is going on. And this is like the um, the last four books. There are more of these available. They are www.2000adonline.com. I'll put a link for that down below. Um. <clears throat> yes, this guy is di diabolical and it is weird, it is twisted, it is strange. I'm not going to get too much into this because if I started reading these, it would take it would take a while. Even if I read one book at a time, it would take a while. Yeah, you probably got you guys probably get bored after a while, but I mean I really enjoyed these. If you enjoy the weird magical world science fiction with magic, then Nemesis the Warlock is for you. I mean it's obscure. Like I said, if you've ever read a two thousand AD comic and read, hmm, that seems sensible and uh not too far fetched. There's something wrong with you. <laughs> but I think that's part of the, be the beauty. I mean, you know, Judge Red has a gun that's adapted to him and will blow the hand off of the person of anyone else who tries to use it other than him. He has a bike with two foot with three foot wide tires on, you know, and goes around saying, I am the law. <laughs> I am the law. You will be judged. I uh, Mega City One, Two, and the Mega Cities. The judges are the judge, jury, executioner, and the police force. Yeah, and if 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 you've never read a two thousand AD comic in your life, and you've never read a Judge Dredd comic in your life, but you've watched the Judge Dredd films. The Judge Dredd films truly don't do the world that much justice. P pun, uh, pun intentional. 
Um, they are far weirder than the movies let on. Um, but yeah. It's kind of like... Yeah, these, these are dark, twisted, um, humorous, sarcastic... Um, yeah. Gory. I mean, um, I'm at, um, one of the storylines, I remember there's this image, imagery of this Terminator, one of Tokamada's um, guys, punches, goes to punch Nemesis in the mouth. And Nemesis is, these, um, his mouth is kind of like in his neck. He's got these like long, like baling type things here. Sprout with spikes and started spinning and pulled his hand into his mouth and minced his hand up. <laughs> it, it gets strange. It's strange. It gets stranger than that. I mean, you can tell by looking, looking, just look, looking at the variations in serious to silly artwork in this. Where it's like, you go, yeah, that's just like, it's bizarre. You, you, you get a sense of why the um, terror tube was originally kind of like, can't print this, this is a stupid, but it has genius. You know, it, people will read it. And I mean, these were, these are £15.99 in the UK. I don't know what they would be in the US, but there are more of them, and I would like to finish the collection as a fan. Um, but I, I believe Warlock at least deserves some kind of shorts released, even if it's on YouTube, just something, some kind of honour It'd be awesome. I mean, I'm a Judge Dredd fan, but I'm more of a Nemesis fan. Um, but, yeah. Because Judge, Judge Dredd is, kind of has Judge Death, and the whole story behind Judge Death is pretty pretty intense. Um, it's kind of like a Batman who laughs kind of scenario. Um, if anything, it might have kind of... If you, if you look at Judge Death, it was created obviously before the Batman Who Laughs and you can see the influence on the artwork. Um, whether it was a direct influence or not, you can see there's a similarity in the way that they are drawn. And the whole spikes coming out and the big, big, toothy grin. Hey Ted. Come on then, you want to come all up? Big toothy maniacal grin. It looks creepy as fuck, but cool at the same time. Hmm? If you're new to this channel, this is Ted. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap the channel, wrap the video up here. I mean, I know these are obscure, but if you have, if you're a fan of Nemesis or anything from 2000 AD. Click the like and leave a comment down below. Um, any any comment you want, you know, it could be quotes, could be anything. Um, but yeah, um, two thousand AD fans who are a breed unto themselves. Is that right, Ted? You've never read it. You're too young. <laughs> Literally, and these were made before you were even born. So, wrapping up, wrapping up the video there. Remember, live long and prosper till all are one. May the force be with you. You will subscribe, and this was the channel you were looking for. Um, don't forget to be part of that like uh, subscribe. 100 sub club for that possible giveaway. 
I mean, I'm looking for more than 100 subscribers, but you know, first 100 subscribers, I mean, actually, it's a 100 sub club, but if it goes over that one, by the time the competition comes up, you're still entitled to, to enter, which is fair enough. I can't it, obscure people because I can't, I don't know. I don't know who's in the hun who's the 100 subscribers. I don't know you by names. It just tells me I've got subscribers and it tells me if someone from another channel has subscribed. It only tells me someone's name if they have a channel themselves. So without further ado, we're about a quarter of the way there. So countdown's happening. Um, without further ado, yeah, hit like, subscribe, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. You can share if you wish. Um, all notifications will be sent to you if you hit the notification bell for new future videos. Anything that comes up on here or in the um, recommended, any of my videos that come up in the recommended viewings. And, uh, or if I give a shout out to guys like um, We Built That, um, then I'll put the links down below for that. Um, also, if you are new to the channel and you like what I'm doing, and you wanna see what else I've done, click on the little icon down below, the little alien bunny geek stuff icon, and it'll take you to a library of all my previous videos, including this one, for your view and pleasure. Um, yeah. I've been Alex. You've been awesome. This has been Geek Stuff. Ciao, Geeklings. Peace.